how to create a modern looking chart in Excel. This is what we're gonna see in today's video. This chart right here, this column chart, modern looking column chart, is what we're gonna see and learn how to do in today's video. A much better way to visualize and analyze the data through this chart right here, instead of using this type of data that we are usually using in Excel. And of course, instead of using the standard version of chart that Excel gives to you, we can build this custom chart right here, and that way we can use in our presentations, in our reports, in our dashboards, in our spreadsheets in Excel, we can create step by step from scratch this modern looking chart in Excel. So let's see how can we do it. Let's go. The first step that we need to create any type of chart in Excel is to have a data set because from the information that we have here in the spreadsheet, we can create any type of different charts in Excel. And you don't need to use the same data set as I'm using here. You can use your own data set because the, the purpose of this video right here is to show how to do, how to make the chart, the modern looking chart in Excel. So it doesn't matter what type of data set you're going to use. Okay. Here in my scenario here, in this example, I have as the first column, a couple, three different regions, and then the time in hours of each one of the process of a sales process. So I have preparation time, delivery time, and return time. Uh, the first thing that I can do here is select everything that, uh, is, that make my data set and then I can go to the insert tab and select the chart that I'm going to use. For this example right here, for this tutorial, I'm going to use a column chart. So let me click here, insert column chart, this one right here, click, and yeah, that's it. The chart is already in the screen. I can click in the chart, hold and drag to move the chart, maybe like this. I can click here in this little circle and bring it up a little bit to the left to make the chart smaller. Maybe I think this, this size here is good. Something that I always like to do is click in the title and read it off the title. And also here, the right lines, I can click, read it off. And also these values here to the left, I can click and read it off these values. And now we have a more clean look to the chart, but uh, something that uh, we need to be mindful here. Because I just read it off or deleted the values that I, I had here to the left, now I don't know m anymore how much uh, each one of the columns represents. Of course, I know that uh, this grayish color is greater than, is bigger than the orange one that is bigger than the blue one. But how much in value the gray color here represents? 30, 15, 10, I don't know. So it's important here to put maybe the values over the columns. That way we can have more preciseness when we are analyze the data through the chart itself. So let me click in the chart and then I can go to the chart design and here to the left, add chart element. I can choose the option data labels, and then this option right here, outside and. That way I already have the numbers just above the columns. And with the chart selected, I can come back here to the home ribbon tab, and then I can put everything in bold, and also maybe increase the font size to 10 and a half, and I think it's better that way. Now let's start to make some changes in the columns itself, because that way we're gonna have this modern looking chart in Excel. I'm gonna start with the first one, that is this gray column right here. I'm gonna double click the column, one, two, to open this right panel right here. And I'm going to start with shadow. So I'm going to click in effects, shadow. And as shadow, we're going to choose this option right here, offset bottom right. I'm going to do the same thing for the orange column. I'm going to choose the same exactly option. And also for the blue one, exactly the same option. Now we're going to go back here to the first column, the gray one. And I'm going to click here, fill and line. And then I'm going to choose fill, solid fill. And here I'm going to choose a different color. Maybe I can use here a uh, green color. So I can click here color, but I, I'm not use here this, this standard colors that Excel gives me. I'm gonna maybe click here more colors or also I have here a green color that I just created before. That is this type of green right here. If you want to cope and use the same color as I'm using here, I'm gonna click here more colors and then we can do the same. And then you can choose our option here, standard or also here custom. You have more options. And if you want to cope this exactly green that I'm using here, you can basically cope these numbers right here, 102, 255, and 204, okay? Just cope, and then press OK. Now, the second thing that we can do is click here, border, and instead of using these sharp corners, we can make and use a rounder one, because I think it's it's a little bit better. Huh? We can use a smooth corner. I'm going to click here, solid line, and I'm going to choose exactly the same color for the border as I'm using for the, the background. I'm going to click here, light green, and for the width, maybe I can increase it. Maybe I'm gonna use six. Yeah, I think it's good. Now, an option that is gonna make the corner rounder is here, joint type. Instead of using round, I'm gonna use bevel cap type and use round to like this. Now we can move on here to the orange one and do basically the same thing. So I'm gonna click here, fill. Color, I'm gonna use 
this orange that I have here, light orange. And if you want to code again, you can click here, more colors, and use this exactly pattern that I'm using here, okay? Just copy these numbers right here, and then you can press OK, and uh, you're gonna have exactly the same color. As borders, I'm gonna do exactly the same thing. And also here for the width, I'm gonna use six. And here for the cap, I'm gonna use round, and join type, I'm gonna use bevel. Now I'm gonna do something similar to the blue one. Not similar, but exactly the same thing. The only thing that is gonna change is, is the color, so solid fill. And here I'm gonna use this blue right here, that is with this settings right here, 51, 153, 255. And then you can press OK. Now we can move on here to the solid line, in border, choose exactly the same blue, the width I'm gonna use 6, the cap type I'm gonna use round, and then join type I'm gonna use bevel. And that's it. But something important to realize here is this tree or all the, the column charts are basically touching each other. If you want to split the charts, make them apart and a little gap in the middle, you can do so. You just need to go here for this last option, series options, and then here in the series overlap, maybe you can make the number a little bit more negative, such as minus 65, I think it's gonna be good. And also the gap width, let's see what's happened if I increase this number right here. Okay, maybe we can, maybe I can use here 300 as the gap width. And I think, yeah, that's it. Now we can close this right panel and we're done. So this is the modern looking chart that we can use in Excel. And of course, if you want to make the, the background transparent, you can do so. Just click in the chart and then format, shape outline, no outline, and then shape view, no view. Here we got the transparent version of the chart. And that way you can use this, this chart in your presentations, in your reports, in your dashboards, or even in your spreadsheets, it doesn't matter. Now it's a much better way to visualize and analyze the data instead of using this type of data that uh, we are usually using in Excel, just numbers with text. Now we have a more, a better way to visualize the data. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video and if you have any questions or any suggestions to the next ones, let me know, comment down below and I see you tomorrow. As every day has a new video, I see you there.